Right, so uh, we'll start with the news of the day, though. As we just mentioned, California has lifted the regional stay-at-home orders. That means outdoor dining and worship services can resume, hair and nail salons can now open, and retailers can increase capacity. Also, the 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. curfew has been lifted. Counties, however, can opt to be more restrictive than the state. Governor Gavin Newsom is expected to address the public at noon. We will carry that for you live right here on KUSI. And joining us now with reaction to the order is Mayor of El Cajon, Bill Wells. Good morning, Good morning Mayor. I take morning. it you are, are pretty pleased with this information. <clears throat> I know you've been uh, really a supporter of opening back up in, in safe ways. Can we get your initial reaction to the news? You know, there's a lot of questions about the, the timing of all this and why suddenly now we, we are able to open up. But I don't care. I, you know, my job is to take care of the people in the city of El Cajon. And I'm happy for them that they're back to back to work, back to normal life to some degree. I mean, not close, but we're getting there and hopefully get back uh, close to getting kids back in school. Yeah, and, and so I think that's going to be the big question, and perhaps we'll get an explanation from the governor at noon when he talks about what metrics he was using, because now you have a lot of people saying, hey, I thought the science was saying we needed to be shut down. I mean, it kind of goes to really supporting this idea that, that politics is obviously part of this. Well, look, when, when Mario Cuomo, or not Mario, uh, Andrew Cuomo from New York lifted the, the, the uh, lockdown orders, and Lori Lightfoot from Chicago lifted the lock for it, uh, lockdown orders, I pretty much knew that the fix was in, that uh, suddenly now that the uh, administration has changed, we've got a different view on how bad this virus really is. But that's okay. I, I'm, I'm happy to, to let them join the party a little bit late, but, but they're now seeing things our way. Right. Your, your mission is not to say I told you so, but really to let, let business owners thrive uh, as much as they can while keeping everyone safe. Have you heard any reaction? Have your phones been been ringing about what this means? Because I'm getting a <coughs> lot of text messages about, wait, does that mean I can open up my salon tomorrow? Kind of yeah, yeah. I'm getting a lot of those questions and some people are a little skeptical. They're, they're, they're worried that this is a bait and switch. But uh, no, I think we I think we are going into a, a new time. And I, I, hopefully we're going to be seeing an end to some of these more draconian type lockdowns. I, I don't think they're going to be giving up on the mask issue anytime soon. I was a little bit concerned when I saw President Biden, who had both of the vaccines, um, signing executive orders with a mask on. That, that tells me that they want to hold on to masks for uh, quite a bit longer. And I, that, that does concern me. Concerning you how? I mean, there, you know, obviously we're seeing issues with getting a vaccine to uh, a herd immunity standpoint here in the county. Um, how do you, I mean, do you, are you saying well, that you don't think there should be masks uh, in these businesses as long as they're allowed to open? Well, I got to be honest, I've never, I've never felt like masks work, but I, I, I tolerate them uh, because people do feel like it works, even though uh, many, many studies say they don't. Um, but what concerns me is that after we get the vaccine, we should be able to return to normal life. But they're going to hold on to it because the vaccine has a small percentage of people that can still get the virus. And it makes you wonder what our metric is going to be. Are, are we looking at zero infections before we can take masks off? If that's the case, we'll be wearing masks here on out into the future. And I think that's uh, bad for a lot of reasons. But um I think mostly it really dehumanizes people. Well, when people wear masks, they become invisible and people don't talk to each other when they wear masks. And we lose a lot of what makes America, America. Well, we'll see. We should be getting more information from the governor, but it's a, a step in letting some people have uh, their livelihoods uh, back while, while continuing Huge. to stay safe. That's a, it's such a great thing, and I, uh, I'm so happy for everybody today that gets to go back and start reclaiming their lives. All right, Mayor Bill Wells from El Cajon, thank you so much for your time thank this you. morning. Absolutely. All right, the second window.